Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite journal supplies and essentials. I'm by no means saying that you need to buy all of these supplies. I'm just showing you what I like to use in my journal and hopefully give you recommendations if ever you want to buy more supplies for your journal. Without further ado, let's get it. The first thing I want to talk about is the notebook that I use. Obviously, for journaling, you need a notebook. So here are the notebooks that I've been using over the past year of journaling. This is the Midori MD Grid A5 notebook, and I think it's my favorite journal that I've used so far for my K-pop journal because the pages are pretty smooth and for the price, I think it's pretty good quality. I've also used lined notebooks such as the Muji A5 lined notebook and I really like taking notes on this book because the pages are just so smooth and the lines aren't that dark so I like that. I've used the Loistrum 1970 dotted A5 notebook and I use this for my 2018 bullet journal and for its price I think it's pretty expensive and I personally wouldn't buy it again because the ghosting is really bad and yeah, like I get that it's like, I don't know, it's just really expensive, I wouldn't get it again. Large term 1917, don't hate me please. I've been really liking the Essentials Grid A5 notebook. I've only just started using it for my 2019 bullet journal, but I've been really liking it because the pages are pretty smooth. They're still ghosting like the Lois term, but it's not as bad. So if you're ever looking for a journal, I recommend the Essentials Grid notebook. I also have this Traveler's Notebook type of book that I got from Miniso, like it's not made by Traveler's Notebook, like it's not that brand. But yeah, I really like this notebook because it's just small and you don't really need a lot of space, you just fill it up and it's also handy if you want to take it around because you can use it when you travel because it's inspired by Traveler's Notebook, you know what I mean? Yeah, I really like this notebook. The next thing I want to talk about is the pens that I use for journaling. Yes, you can use whatever pens you like for journaling, but these are just the ones that I like to use. My go-to favorite pen is the Muji Gel Ink 0.38 pen. It does smudge when you highlight over it and if you don't wait for it to dry, but it's cheap and I like it, so I use it. I recently got this Pilot High Tech C gel pen in 0.3 size and I personally don't really like it because of how scratchy it is and the ink doesn't come out properly but that's just my opinion if i want a thicker line i just use this mini so 0.5 gel ink pen it's a pen it works it does the job i recently got this pilot juice pen in the size 0.38 and i just really like how smooth it writes on the page i think this is so close to becoming my go-to pen besides the muji 0.38 pen it's just much nicer than the other pilot pen, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is the lettering supplies that I use. You can use whatever lettering supplies that you have. I personally recommend, highly recommend the Crayola Super Tips. They're just so cheap and you get so many colors and you can get good calligraphy or any lettering with them. So I think this is an essential. Like if you're gonna get anything out of this video, I say get the Crayola Super Tips. I also like the Artline Sticks brush markers. These markers, they don't come in as many colors as the Crayola Super Tips but they're really good and they're cheap and you can get good calligraphy with them. I also have this Sakura Koi coloring brush pens. These are more on the expensive side and they're similar to the Tombow dual tip brush pens but they don't have the other tip and they're, yeah they're not dual tip but yeah they're nice. I also have these sets of the Zebra Mild Liners. I just rearranged them so the colors look nicer together. I don't think these are unessential but they're just nice to have in your collection because look at the colors, they're just so pretty. If you can't find the Zebra Mild Liners, I highly recommend getting the Daiso Marking Pens. They don't have as many colors as the Zebra Mild Liners obviously but the colors are kind of similar, they're kind of muted and they're a lot cheaper than the Zebra Mild Liners. Here are the brush pens that I own and what I typically use when I do smaller lettering in my spreads. So the first one I have is a Tombow Fude Hard Brush Pen. I like this one because you have a lot of control with it. The tip is hard, so I recommend this for beginners. It's easier to use if you're beginning calligraphy. 
My favorite is the Pentel Fude Touch Brush Pen. This is the one I use the most because there's a good amount of flexibility and control. It's just easier to use and it's pigmented. This zebra brush pen that I own, I don't use it as often as the other two, but it's still pretty good. However, this may be harder to use for beginners because of how soft the brush tip is, so keep that in mind if you want to get this one. My go-to white gel pen that I use is the Unibol Signal white gel pen. I haven't used any other white gel pen because these just do the job for me. Like They do a really good job and they're pigmented, so yeah. Here are other miscellaneous items that I own that I think you don't really need for your journal but it's nice to have if ever you want to decorate some spreads. First are memo pads. I don't have a lot of these but I just like to have some in case I want to decorate a spread and yeah they're just nice to use if ever you need to fill up a space and there's so many different designs that you can find online so yeah memo pads are cute. I also have these other memo pads that I got from AliExpress. Yeah, I think you can find a lot of different designs online. Like if you look hard enough, you'll find some really cool designs that will really make your spreads look cute and yeah. Not an essential, just cool to have, you know. You can also utilize sticky notes. I got these sticky notes from a store. Oh, well, I got the blue one from a store and I got the pink one from a friend. And yeah, you can also use sticky notes to decorate your spread. It really depends on what spread I'm making. You can also use stickers to decorate your spreads. I have personally been using more stickers in my bullet journal because it just looks cuter. And these K-pop stickers, I've been really liking these days. But they're just harder to find compared to regular stickers you can either purchase them through group orders on twitter or find people who are selling them online or get them from pen pals yeah these are just nice to have and they're really really cute you can also purchase stickers from stores on instagram there are multiple smaller stores on instagram that sell cute stickers like these these are from the yellow lotus and i highly recommend your stickers because she makes cute designs and lastly for stickers you can also use sticker flakes i don't really use or i don't really have a lot of sticker flakes like these like i don't have a big collection but they're just nice to have in case you wanna you know decorate your spread which is the whole point of these miscellaneous items and lastly well not really lastly but for decorating your spread you can also use washi tape I highly recommend looking online for washi tape because they're much cheaper than in your local stores, I'm assuming. And plus you can get really cute designs online if you look hard enough. I just love washi. Like once you buy them, you start to get addicted and you just can't stop. Like you want to buy all the cute washi in the world. Washi tape is good. You don't need them but it's nice to have, you know? In terms of the photos that I use for my spreads, I use two different types. Well, I guess they're two different types. Yeah, I just get these photo cards from pen pals or I make them myself. I will link down some tutorials on how to make these photo card type photos. And yeah, if ever I need a photo, I just find one in this stack of photo cards that I own and just use them in my spread or bullet journal or anything. Or if you don't want to use photo cards, you can also use normal photo printed or paper printed photos yeah but you know sometimes you run out of ink and you can't print out photos so you just gotta find a different way but if you have ink then feel free to just print your photos on normal paper whenever I need photos I just check this collection of photos that I own and just use whatever fits the spread that I'm trying to make and lastly I just use a glue stick to stick all my pictures into my bullet journal or k-pop journal glue tape is just expensive so I just stick to glue sticks and I don't really have a problem with it so yeah this basically concludes my favorite journaling supplies and essentials video remember that you don't necessarily have to have all of these supplies to use and have a k-pop journal or any journal in general all you basically need is a notebook and a pen these items are just miscellaneous things that you can use just to decorate and maybe experiment with your creativity when making your spreads don't feel pressured and feel the need to buy all of these items because not everyone has the ability to buy all of these items straight away I, it took me a whole year to build my whole collection of stationery so yeah if you really want to it's all up to you just don't feel pressured because 
journaling, you can use whatever you have that's accessible to you. The most important thing about journaling is being able to express your opinions and emotions onto a page. Well, that's how I'd see it. The whole creativity part is just an extra thing, so if you want to be creative, then take the time to look into supplies or different things that can make you explore your creativity. I think I said a few words multiple times in this video, like the word cute, but whatever. All these miscellaneous items, they're all cute. They can make your spreads more cute. So the word of the day is cute and that's the truth. That is pure facts. Anyways, thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any other video suggestions, please leave a comment down below, read the description, and I'll just talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!